I was about 15 and a couple of lads I was, I wouldn't say they were big buddies, but lads I was friendly with, they started talking about this railway that were going up. I said, well, where's this? Well, it's in Leeds. Where do you start? I mean, there are two sides to it. Yeah, in pure terms, it's the world's oldest railway. In pure terms, it had the first steam engines. It was the first preserved railway. We formed the School Railway Society, or six formers formed the School Railway Society. And one of the events that they put on was a Middleton Week, at which Fred Ewell came along and gave a talk about the railway. The Railway Society pretty well adopted Middleton. Um, I mean, this was a, its unique selling point. This was what happened on Freshers' Weekend, join the Railway Society and actually run a real railway. It's amazing to think back now, think what we had at that time back in the 1960s and the 1970s. We had a wooden hut, we had power, but we had no running water supply. The, the thing at that time was that we, we were not running any passenger trains. We, we were still essentially a freight only operation. This is the only photograph I have um, of the period which is at all relevant and it's the Leeds University Union Railway Society committee almost certainly. Fred Yule who was the president is here. He was a character without a doubt. He was uh, in those days the Middleton Railway. He, he did everything basically. I mean Fred was an absolutely unique uh, person. He, he was known uh, in the university for being a total eccentric. He would go into le the lecture theatre wearing a boiler suit and deliver his lectures. He would also come down here wearing a three-piece suit and, uh, and lay track. You, know. you, you can't really replace people like Fred, they're absolutely unique. Susan would have agreed with that as well. We owe him a lot, we owe him a huge amount, and Susan. We're all here with the same enthusiasm. It's our own way. We, we want it to work. It, it is a, a can-do railway. Uh, you know, they do tackle jobs at all, at all levels. And to say there are no paid staff, well, that's the big difference here. It is entirely done by volunteers. That's a big difference. I could say this right now. I've put my heart into this place and I'm never going to stop putting my heart into this place. This is the only place I'd never stop going to. Until I die, like I said. This was the first, this was the oldest, that, that was the incentive for preserving it in the first place and I think is still the incentive for keeping it going. There's a great satisfaction in seeing what we started with, a tiny little diesel and a 100 seat tram, and look at what we've got. The sky's the limit, where are we going to finish? <laughs>